Another feature I'd like to show you as long as we're doing layering is you want green screen to start with, but you don't want green screen to be there for your permanent background. So I have uh, another object I, hear, I, I created, which is just a, a blue box. We can use some of the defaults uh, in the color boards. If I click on media content and then color boards, it gives me all these I can choose. And usually the darker ones will do slightly better on a green screen. But I'm going to ignore those for now. I'll go back to my regular media content. And I created this blue item here. So I, I, I'm going to drag it in. And it's not a movie. It's just a solid color. I'll make it the same length as my major feature here. And I put it on the background. Again, so the blue will be at the back. Uh, I myself will be in the middle and then the lake will be in the front. So if we try to play it, let's see what happens. Now the problem here is I cannot see any of the blue because the green is covering it over. And so to take care of this issue, all we need to do is change the green to transparent. And here's how we do it. I'll double click on that particular image. And now in our properties, we're going to drag down and we're going to use our chroma key. So I click on the chroma key. I'll click on the open and here is my chroma key settings. The key thing on the chroma key is you take the eyedropper and you click it on the area that you want to color out. Instantly it changes it. I can also change the tolerance of hue, make it a little wider, because sometimes around the object, like me, you'll have a little bit of green or it'll be a little fuzzy. This isn't too bad right now. You can also change the, the tolerance of saturation and the tolerance of luminance and the sharpness of the edge. And there's no one right setting. You have to kind of see what you can do in this particular uh, situation. So what I've done is I've colored out all the green and I haven't taken too much away from, um, uh, made this too discolored. So I'll click on OK. And now I just changed uh, the way in which this middle section appears. So if we put all three together, we have our blue screen on the back. We have the subject in the middle with the green uh, turned to transparent. And then we have our second movie in the front. So let's click and see what it looks like now. Another thing that you can do uh, to make it even better would be to take uh, something from your uh, titles area and drag something down even on a lower level yet. And I've got my title. I can double click on it. And we can take this here and move this down. Uh, we could say uh, river cresting at 36 feet. And obviously we could change the, the fonts and the other characteristics of that if we wanted to. I'm going to click on the OK, which you can't see on the screen. And then we'll have, now we have four layers. We'll go ahead and play them with it. Just hit the play head. Here's a sample of what it looks like in a final form. And as you begin to see what it can do in CyberLink PowerDirector.